Hey, Chris here from Blockade Pinball Podcast, doing my top five table packs from Zen Spinball FX3 that I tend to recommend to people that are new to the game and wondering what table pack should they buy. So we're kind of uh, doing some playthrough here, showing them off, uh, spending time on the table of the pack that I like the most, but showing off all the other ones that are included in that pack. This next one, it's a Marvel table pack. And there's a lot of Marvel table packs. This table pack happens, though, to carry my absolute favorite Marvel table of the batch. This would be the uh, Pinball Avengers Chronicles pack. And the Pinball Avengers Chronicle pack includes Fear Itself, Infinity Gauntlet, Avengers, and World War Hulk. But the best table, period, is... Fear itself. What he said. Single player and... No, we don't want to continue with our previous game. We're going to start with a new one. So what I like about Fear Itself is it technically is what Avengers Infinity Gauntlet. No, Avengers Endgame is, I guess. I'm not sure. Or what am I thinking here? Well, some of these characters appeared in... Uh, like this character here, appeared in the movie uh, Infinity Gauntlet. So you've got this little uh, diverter for Mjolnir at the top here. Action. And then based off what direction it is, that's actually a scoop that sends the ball up. Once you lower it, it's... Uh... There we go. And then you get to pick your, your person who you're going to battle against. And I tend to like angrier. because of this. You get to go into the pop bumpers and you get to have Hulk smash. Which is a very satisfying. So you gotta hit, get enough punches in to even get the chance to battle. Because <laughs> you're gonna wind up battling a stand-up target that uh, pops up in the middle. So it's a bit of a, a hurry-up aspect, because this is on a timer. Speaking of timers, I'll start one. I am not getting enough in there. Now, if you play this with uh, Zen's passive awards, and then you uh, have Pop Bumper score be one of them, you can rack up huge points in this particular level. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it, am I? See what my timer is. Oh, it's, yeah, seven seconds. Good luck. I don't know. This just feels this this particular table feels like a heavy metal album cover. <laughs> Serpent's mouth. Odin's war is coming here.
I mean, look, you get Hulk, you get Iron Man, you get Thor, you get Captain America on this table. Oh, I should have done Mega Save. I forgot to Sliver. Magna save to the rescue. <laughs> it's a really powerful magnet. the gate on that hammer. Now I gotta shoot the scoop. Maybe. Alright, who should we pick this time? Let's go with... Mock. Oh, now we got a stone ball. Which only works if you hit the lit lanes. Otherwise, it starts breaking apart, I think. It doesn't work in that uh, magma save area. <laughs> it's not metal. Oh, almost. Try it again. There we go. Oh, and then we toast. So that's why I like this table, that there, it, each mode is way different than the other modes. Um, so you've got, what do you got? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different modes um, to, to pick to pick from, and, and each one of them is unique. So that's why I really like Fear itself. It's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic table. Um... All right, since there's four tables in this particular pack, let's go to my second favorite from this pack, which is Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet. And again, they never did... Uh, Zen never did... Uh, movie tables for... Infinity Gauntlet or Endgame. So this is as close as it you'll get. But this particular table is nuts. You can tell it's got these, you know, virtual ramps all over the place. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Uh, okay. So you are trying to collect the stones, the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet stones, and each stone that um, you play for causes a different thing to happen on the table. Certain things happen, like you'll play with the table upside down. That's a lot of laughs. Um, <laughs> hey, look at this! <laughs> I was just saying. We now we're upside down. Which is so confusing to play. Thanos's will can bend the very fabric of reality. So yeah, that's why we're playing the reality stone. I mean, here's something that would never, ever in a million years happen on a real pinball table, right? 
that's why I say it's the right amount of crazy. I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to be aiming because everything is upside down. <laughs> I can no longer hold off confronting Thanos. multi-ball action going on. It's a fun game to just, you know, you don't have to know what's going on. It helps to you know, score well, but you don't have to know what's going on. A lot of your just random flipping will activate things and get them going. Which is good, because you do that enough times, and then you start getting interested in what you're actually supposed to uh, accomplish. That's Infinity Gauntlet. You can see why that one's a good one. The other two tables that are included in this are... Okay, let's do Avengers first since it was right underneath. Again, not based on the movie. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people. So when we needed them, they could fight the battles. Because I don't think this is based on having the Chitauri invasion or anything. Choose your Avenger. So depending on which which ball you choose, it's uh, a different game aspect for what needs to be done. But it is cool the uh, the balls all have uh, yeah identifying markers. I can feel your hatred, Bruce. Need to work as a team. And you can tell by the uh, the art that this is not based on the movie. Choose your Avenger. Just to I'll get the show you what it is. different. So now there's a whole different set of things lit. said, it's a really basic layout. I mean, it's a fan layout. There's no, you know, it's ramp, 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 ramp. So that's why I'm not exactly thrilled with this. I don't play it very often at all. 
not a bad table. It's just kind of... Kind of a little eh, meh, you know. Um, let's show you the last table in this pack. Which would be World War Hulk. World War Hulk. So this would be as close as you're going to get to uh, Thor Ragnarok. Because it's essentially <laughs> kind of that. It's the Gladiator Rose Arena. Shot me into space. This one has I wanna hear them a really bizarre layout. It takes a while to learn where the ball is actually going to go. I was captured. It feels like a wide body table. You remember Hulk. You were just a scientist experimenting on gamma radiation. Left kickback activated. It's a very busy play field. Um, your eye doesn't quite know where to go. So that's definitely a knock on it, but bad table either. It's a lot of fun. It's I honestly I prefer this over Avengers. And I'm I'm sitting here going, where the heck is the main mission? Oh there it is up at the top. Sweet Air Plutonia! He needs to force our heroes against one another in the arena! The angrier I get, I didn't get there anywhere. But anyway, that would be World War Hulk. No, I didn't pause. I wanted to go exit. So there you have it. Those are the uh, four tables that are within the Pinball Avengers Chronicles. Number two in my choice for table packs that I recommend to people that are brand new to... Uh, Pinball FX3 and wondering what packs they should buy. Um, coming up next time, good old number one that I will always, 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 always recommend to everybody because I think all the tables in it are nice. Uh, until then, play some pinball. Talk to you later. Bye.